In today's uh, segment, there's no right answer. TPG reader Christopher tweets us, what's the proper etiquette when you get a first class upgrade because you're diamond and your client is back in row 27? I actually, this used to happen to me all the time when I worked at Morgan Stanley. I remember one time flying on the uh, shuttle from New York to Boston to go to an information session at one of the universities and one of the big senior managing directors walked by me to coach as I sat in first class and clearly, uh, you know, he knew the policy of the company wasn't to pay for first, so I assumed he knew that uh, I would have gotten an upgrade, and frankly, I hustled for that upgrade. I figured out how to get, um, you know, the upgrade. I got the Delta Reserve card on my own personal credit to hit that elite status level. So, uh, you know, you can always give your seat in first class, uh, you know, as a gesture of goodwill if you want, but I don't think you ever have to. There's plenty of the other things that you can do personally to increase your odds of getting that first class upgrade. I think these days most people know that, you know, especially domestically, um, you know, a lot of people get upgrades for free, so I don't think it's uh, too crazy. You know, if you ever, I, I think actually one thing I've learned over life, if you feel bad about it or always go with your gut, and I personally don't feel anyone should be feel bad about maximizing their miles and spend and, and getting a free upgrade. So I don't think there's anything you should say. Um, you know, of course, say hi to them as they walk by you and offer them tips to help them next time get up and sit in first class for the price of coach or just tell them to follow thepointsguy.com. Any other questions, tweet me at the Points Guy. Make sure you like us on Facebook.